Bonjour and happy French Friday to you. Okay, so to start off here, I wanted to share my vintage market finds with you first. And the first thing here I'll share is this French sink. I've actually been looking for one of these for quite some time now, and they're usually pretty pricey. So I grabbed this one uh, right away when it was um, only $70. I've seen them at antique stores going for over $200. So I thought that was a really good price for that. And then I also picked up these uh, French signs. And um, these were, I believe, $18 each. And it's really hard to find French signs. So when I do see them, I grab those up right away because you just don't see them very often. Okay, the next two items that I picked up were these two vintage rolling pins. And I think they were a great price at only $5 each for these. And I have one at home in my kitchen and I just wanted to pick up a couple more so that I could have um, a collection of three I think will look really nice and uh, in my kitchen with my other lonely one rolling pin right now. So here they are in my kitchen and I think they look great uh, in this French metal bucket. I picked up this French soap that's made in France for $8.95 and I ended up putting this one in my kitchen. Also has some in my laundry room and in my bathroom as well. Next, I picked up this spigot, or is it a hose bib? Not sure, guys. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I picked this one up for $3. Next, I picked up this faux strawberry cake here, and I thought it'd be perfect to go underneath my glass uh, cloche uh, that I have in my dining room. And I think that'll look really nice. And it looks so realistic. It looks yummy. So um, I love to decorate with faux food. Okay, these next items I picked up were these three glass jars here. I already had three at home, so I just needed three more to fit in my canning jar holder. And I got these three ball glass jars. And I didn't realize, though, that my ones at home had the glass lids and these had the metal lids. So they're not an exact match, but that's okay. Next, I picked up some furniture hardware. This one I picked up for $3. And then I also got these knobs here, a bag of them, which I thought was a really great price for all of these. They, these were $5 for the whole bag of hardware. And I'm always redoing pieces of furniture and uh, painting furniture and things and, and switching out the hardware. So I always like to pick up hardware when I see nice hardware for a good price. Okay, I've come outside of my front porch so I could share with you this uh, cute wooden bench that I found at the Vintage Farmhouse Market. Fits really nice here out on the front porch. And I picked that up for $65. At the Vintage Farmhouse Market, I also picked up these dried looking flowers here and then the dried eucalyptus. And then we also have dried California eucalyptus in here as well, with some other just kind of like twiggy dried uh, stems. And I just thought these were really pretty and I love the light blue of these flowers here, the hydrangeas. And I just put them in my enamelware pitcher I also picked up these leaded glass diamond shaped windows. I love the old hardware on them as well. And I got these for $20 each, which was a great price on these old windows. And actually, I don't know if they were used for windows or if maybe they were on a uh, cabinet, like cabinet doors, but I absolutely love them either way. I got a bracelet just like my mom's, except for mine has a pearl and hers has the heart. A uh, little charm dangling from it. And um, I love this because these are handmade by a couple that was there at the vintage market. And they use uh, old uh, silverware, uh, silver plated silverware to make uh, these bracelets and it has the nice magnetic clasp on there so it's easy to get on and off. And I already have uh, earrings like this, a necklace, 
and uh, a ring. So now I've got a complete set now that I have the bracelet as well. So um, I just thought that was really pretty and I love unique handmade items. I also picked up this necklace and normally I don't show jewelry or the clothing on my channel, but uh, since I didn't have very many items to share with you uh, as far as the jewelry goes, I thought I could just share these two pieces. So I did pick up this necklace and then from the same booth, I also got two shirts from this lady. She was selling uh, handmade clothing and um, jewelry in her booth. And she made some really beautiful uh, clothing. So I picked up um, two shirts from her as well as this necklace. I also picked up this French metal sink. And I just put this Ikea plant in there just to kind of show you how you could display a plant um, in it or... Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what I could put in there and it looks cute. I may not leave it in there. I may get something that drapes over the side a little bit more, but just to show you for this video purposes to have something in there, I just stuck that cute little faux plant in there. I also picked up these two magazines while I was there. They're brand new. Normally the lady sells these in her antique store, but she brought them to sell at the vintage market. So uh, normally she sells them for $13.95 in the store, but she was selling them at the show for $5 each. So I picked those two up. These next magazines I thought I would just share with you if you love French country, decor like I do, uh, you may be interested in these. And I bought these um, not from the vintage market, but from my local grocery store. So I thought I would just share them with you. The first one is French Country Home and Living, and the other one is Country French uh, Home Decor Magazine. And then we also have the Cottage Journal French Cottage Magazine. And this one actually has the Annie Sloan's French farmhouse in Normandy in it. So if you love, like I said, French country decor like I do, I just thought I would share these with you. So these are some magazines that I really have enjoyed looking at. Okay, while I'm sharing uh, my finds with you, I thought I would share these beautiful French country dining room chairs that I found in Santa Barbara at the consignment store that I like to go to. In fact, it's the same store that I bought the antique uh, chandelier that we put up in our living room. I love the curvy legs on these chairs. And let me turn the chair around so I can show you the fabric that is on the back side. Here's the small little gingham check fabric that's on the back that coordinates so nicely with the toile fabric. And the only thing is I was thinking I may paint this darker wood uh, light color uh, to go with the cream that's in the fabric, but um, I'm not sure if I should or not. So I'll think about that, but let me know what you think. And I got a set of two of these that I put at both uh, ends of the table. And I wish they would have had more of them, but they only had a set of two, but I absolutely love them. And I got them on sale for only uh, $60 each. So I thought that was a great price too for these. Okay, so now I'm going to share my thrifted finds with you. And the first two items here, I believe are supposed to be placemats and I'm probably not going to use them as placemats. I'm gonna probably use them uh, for a different purpose. I really just like the scenery here on on these and also the colors are right for my home and I love this um, red and cream like twall scenery here. I just thought these were really pretty and they were $1.99 each but the whole store, all these thrift stores, in fact that we were going to this uh, over in the, the Memorial day weekend they had started having half off sales so we didn't even realize it but we were so excited to find that everything was half off so um, I'm not going to continue to say it was half off when I talk about each item 
So just know that everything I'm sharing with you was half off the original price. So like this little, I think it's a cookie cutter maybe for also to cut um, your biscuits when you make biscuits, but I thought that was cute. It was originally 25 cents. This was originally 50 cents. And then I also got this cute basket that was originally $3. And then uh, I got these flowers, which were originally $6, but for getting them at $3, I thought was a really good deal on these. And they look so realistic. I just love these. And they even have um, the little thorns <laughs> on these. So yeah, whenever I find really nice, realistic looking faux flowers or greenery, I love uh, to get that, especially when it's such a great price. And then I also picked up this tiny little cute oil painting that I thought was so pretty of the roses. And that was $1.99 originally. And then I picked up this really neat um, scenery here. Again, I don't know, this isn't large enough to be a placemat, but um, it has the cork on the back. That was originally $2. And I'm not sure exactly what it was originally used for. Maybe like um, a hot pad or something. Maybe one of you know what that was used for. But I just thought that was really neat. Old English inns. I just thought that was a really neat little scenery on there. Okay, the next two items I found were these two metal hanging wall baskets. And I'm thinking I can either use these next to our desk in our office area or possibly even out in the garage or they would even look great in my laundry room. So there are so many different um, ideas and uh, things that I could use these baskets for. So it's always great to have organizational um, baskets for different areas and throughout your home. And these originally came from Target, as you can see here by that little metal label that's on there. The next item I purchased was this vintage frame and it uh, had this picture in here, but I will uh, change that out eventually here but um, that's what came with the frame and it was originally $1.99 for that and I always like to pick up vintage frames when I can find them because I just think they are so neat um, I'd rather have the older ones than the new ones so I can switch out a picture that I may have in a different frame for this one the next items I picked up were these dishes here, and I am trying to collect the red and white transferware dishes whenever I see them at a good price at thrift stores or even antique stores. And um, these I did find for a good price. They, these were 99 cents each, the little cups and then the little matching um, little saucer plates that go with the teacups. It's really hard to find a whole set of these types of dishes so um, I'm just picking them up as I find them and if they don't all match um, that doesn't really matter to me as long as it is the same color it doesn't matter if the patterns are different so whenever I see them at a good price I'm just going to pick them up and um, try to collect these to add uh, to my collection so even if they're not an exact match but these are an exact match but they only had a set of three of them so I just got what they had and then I also found this little salad plate that matched the set and that was originally $2.99 Okay, then I picked up this silver platter, which was originally $4.99. And what I really liked about this platter was the, that it had the little feet down here. So I thought that was really sweet. None of them were missing or broken. And so I picked that up. 
I also found these three matching little stackable boxes that I thought were really cute and they go along with my color uh, theme that I am doing and I'm also just mixing that little gingham check with the uh, French grain sack stripes as well as um, the red and cream twill that matches my um, curtains um, in the backdrop here you can see and so I thought these were really cute and um, I the price I thought was a little bit uh, spendy but since they were half off it wasn't bad at all so original price on these was $18 for the set and then um, so I ended up getting them for $9 which wasn't bad for the three The next item I got was this topiary, and I thought it was such a cute little size topiary, and it looked so realistic, I thought, so I really liked that about it. And the even the faux dirt down here in the bottom in the pot looks realistic, and uh, I thought that was a really good price. The original price on that was $5. I love white marble, so I couldn't resist getting these coasters when I saw these and they were originally 99 cents each and there was only a set of two so I just got the two. I wish there would have been four but I will take what I can get and then I found this marble game board that I thought would be really fun to use it outside on our back patio and uh, it was missing the pieces though so it was just the game board for $3.99 and uh, I thought, well, we can just get those glass bottles of soda pop and save the little caps off of them and use those for the checker pieces. So that has worked out really well and has been a lot of fun. So there's an idea for you. If you find something like this, you can always get creative, use something else for your checker pieces. <laughs> This next little sign, uh, my hubby and I couldn't resist, and um, he's going to put this in his office. <laughs> and it says, I survived another meeting that could have been an email. So we thought that was so funny, we had to get it. And that was originally $1.39 for that. Okay, so I'm going to share now the things that I found at the antique stores that my mom and I went to while she was here visiting with me. And the first item here is this flat back basket hanging on the back of my door, my front door here. And it's nice because it doesn't cover up the little peephole. We can still look out to see who is at the door. And I just have it hanging on a hook here. And I picked that up for $30 at the antique store. I just love uh, the vintage basket. Okay, the next two things that I got were these books. And the first red one here, I paid $7 for it. And it is an old Dickens book. And then the next one is also a Dickens book, this blue one here. And it just goes so nicely with my colors, my decor, and especially it's going to look neat for my 4th of July decor as well. And I was so happy to find this little star banner for 4th of July because you never see it in this blue color here. You usually always see the darker navy blue color for 4th of July. So I was very excited to find that for $12. Sorry if you hear my dog. She's sleeping by me so you hear her breathing and snoring a little bit here. She's um, relaxing and laying down next to me here. So uh, I'm going to apologize for that in advance here. If you hope you can hear me okay though. The next item is this um, blue bag that I got and it is made in France. Such a cute little bag. I take to the market. 
And then the next item I picked up at the antique store was these flowers for $6. And then I got the little basket here. Um, it's like a purse basket um, or like a market basket, I think. And um, it's a little French one. It's so cute. And I got that for $18. And then I picked up this cute little um, picture here or it almost looks like a postcard, but I got that for $4. And then I picked up this French soap. And I believe that was $5 for that little one. I have a bit, a larger one like that, but this one is smaller. Um, so I'm gonna probably display that on top of my larger one. And then I also picked up this 12 um, bag, but it actually has um, brand new um, napkins inside that have never been used. And there's the price on that. And I will open it up so I can show you the napkins inside. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it open, and look how cute the little sheep, the sheep is on here. So just love those, and those are brand new, never been used, so I was excited about that good find. And then the next item is this uh, chalkware little French statue. So I love that. Kind of reminds me of um, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I was excited to find this down filled pillow here and it is custom made. The lady that makes these, she does a beautiful job and she makes these pillow covers and then inserts a really nice down filled pillow inside and this is a really large size pillow it's very nice and perfect for going in my chair in the living room so I was excited to find this and love the twall fabric that's on the front here and then the ticking fabric as well is really nice on the sides around that borders around the twall I also love that it has a zipper, so when it needs washing, I can unzip and wash it. It'll be all clean again. This next little item here is a French box, and it is covered in fabric. And I believe I paid $5 for this one, and you can store things inside this little box, and you can display it standing up, or you can lay it down. So I just thought it was so pretty, the little French lady here on the front. And then the next thing I bought was this French sign, which I don't see French signs that often. So when I do see them, I like to get those. And um, although the color was not right for my house, I'm just going to paint that. I don't have pink anywhere, so. I'm just going to paint that and it will be a quick little fix. And I believe I paid um, $8 for that sign. Okay, this next little cutie patootie is so adorable. It is uh, made with the red and white ticking fabric and the red and white twall fabric. And it's so cute. It's like a little stack of little mini pillows. Or um, at Christmas time, I think it would look like... Um, little Christmas gifts stacked on top of each other uh, wrapped up with the bow and it has this cute little ribbon that it can hang from and I just think that is adorable it'd be so cute at Christmas time or really any time of the year and could hang on a doorknob or a little knob of a cabinet or um, so many different uses I could even hang that on the Christmas tree at Christmas time and then this next item is a French uh, little vintage uh, book page here and it's actually in plastic 
um, I bought it that way, but I can take it out of the plastic and I could frame it if I want to. And so I could also decoupage it um, onto something. So um, lots of different things I could do with this as well. And I paid uh, $6 for it. Sorry about the glare on the plastic. It's, um, it's protecting it, but there is a glare. Sorry about that. Okay, I also picked up these book pages and this old book. And I picked this one up for, I think it was $3. Yep, $3 for this decorative book scroll. And I thought that was really neat. And then I also picked up this book, um, this decorative book for $4. And then I picked up this antique, it is an antique French uh, lace bobbin for $5.50. And I'm, I think I'm going to wrap some lace around it since that was what it was originally uh, used for. So I have some lace already that would be really pretty to wrap around there. And then this next item I picked up was this Chateau wood sign. And I believe that was um, $10. I don't know if, if, I think it was eight or 10. The price is not on it anymore. I think they took it off at the store. And then this next item is a French basket that I found. Oh, I love this French basket. And then I ended up putting the French lavender in there that I picked up from Ikea. And I'm so excited to have an Ikea close by me now because when we lived in Louisiana, we had no Ikea close. We actually didn't have an Ikea at all in Louisiana, so nothing in that state. So yeah, we would have to travel if we wanted to go to an Ikea. So very excited to have one close by me now. It's usually like only 30 to 40 minutes away, depending on traffic. And um, these are really cute, just in the little black pots. So I picked those up and I believe those were $10 each at Ikea if you're interested in those. And then the next item I picked up at the antique store was this really neat uh, topiary plant, the faux plant. And it, to me, it just looked very realistic. Really like that, I love topiaries. I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting. Maybe you can see it better there. And that was, I believe that was um, $12. And then I picked up this French bag. I thought this little purse bag was so cute. And um, this was $10. And then it has a, I believe it has a ticking stripe inside. Yeah. Very cute bag. And then I picked up these antique books, a stack of them, because I love decorating with books and the uh, poetry books. And I thought those are really neat. And I believe I paid uh, 14 for the whole bundle of books. And then I also picked up these little uh, cute little gold charms. They had silver and gold, but I have quite a few silver ones on my silver charm bracelet. So I wanted to start collecting the gold so I can have one a gold charm bracelet as well as the silver. So I thought those were adorable and they were only a dollar each. So couldn't beat the price for those cute little charms at a dollar a piece. So that is all for my uh, antique store finds. I hope that you enjoyed what I found at the antique store. All my goodies. Thank you for watching friends and if you haven't subscribed yet I hope that you will do so right now and until next time friends au revoir